How would you like to make your own beautiful nature art just like this? Well, today we're gonna to talk about how you can make your own nature art using artificial intelligence. I was out walking on a nature trail the other day and saw this little guy, and shortly after he ate a bug, which he promptly threw up. Or here you could see that a little bit more clearly on the instant replay. Well, I was inspired to use this little guy as the basis for some of our AI art demonstrations. As he jumped up on a clear surface, I was able to take this nice picture of him. And although it's a little bit dark, we'll use that as the basis for some of our AI art. Here you see our frog picture redone in the style of a few famous painters, including Monet, Gustav Klimt, and this is Starry Night by Van Gogh. And here I put together about a minute long sequence of this same frog using different styles of artwork from a lot of different artists, some of them not so famous. But you can get a sense of the wide variety of styles that we can apply to just one picture. And all of these frog images are made using an AI concept known as neural networks. And you could see here the way it works is you use a source picture or image of some kind and combine it with the style of a painting or another image together into one single one. And this process is known as style transfer. In order to do this yourself totally free and with the most options, you'll need to use some open source programs built in Python. First, you should get a platform like Anaconda that can manage your packages and your environments for you. Make sure you set up a new environment for your program, in this case, using Python 3.5 or 3.6. Then you'll need the program itself, and there are many available on GitHub, thousands to choose from. Now, I prefer implementations that are built on TensorFlow, and usually it's the older one, like TF1.15, that tends to be uh, what you see the most. But you could try others. And then what usually takes the most time is finding all the right modules and forcing them to be compatible with your program. And keep in mind, you should get a platform that allows you to use your GPU. The CPU only version of this program can take like an hour for a single image to run on a regular computer. And on a Raspberry Pi, that same thing can take six or seven hours, but with a good NVIDIA GPU, it might only take six or seven minutes. There are a few technical considerations to get the most out of the system. One is that each run will produce a unique image. So every output picture will have a lot of variability. And for my runs, I usually do a thousand or more iterations to make sure it's well-trained. The scale of the source style image is key. Different size brush strokes and composition makes a huge difference. In order not to break your computer, you should keep image sizes relatively small. I generally use images that are under 700 pixels, but you should try different sizes yourself. This is some watercolor art that I did as a student. And as you can see, there is a huge difference in the output art just by simply zooming in on the brush strokes. So play around with it. The possibilities with AI art are literally endless. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.